This is a perjury trial. This is a trial on a charge of giving false evidence. I'll probably say it again before I sit down, but the reason I emphasize it is that the vast proportion of the time involved in the trial has been involved in an examination not of that aspect at all, but in an aspect of what is called corruption. The existence of a possible motive for him to tell lies to the Fitzgerald Commission. He has not been charged with corruption. The defence would probably say that there has been no corruption and no motive for Mr Bjocchi Peterson. He was not telling deliberate lies, but was an old man suffering a defective memory and doing his best to tell the truth. Failing, but not telling lies. The Crown does not back off one step from its earlier contention that the accused motive could have been to conceal the connection between Mr Sung's donation and approval. But a second possible motive has emerged, that he did not want a connection made between political donations and his role in their receipt. Mr Cowdery's summing up went on for two more days. He took us through the evidence in such detail it was like starting the trial all over again. Mr Greenwood had a more colourful approach. As things are, I am all that stands between Sir Joe and the last possible kick in the teeth this state can give him. The challenge to the Australian legal system is whether you 12 people are going to be able to judge this man for what he is supposed to have done as opposed to who he is. Mm. Joe Bielke Peterson is among, of all the public figures in the recent history of this country, the man who would be most well known to 12 people of the Queensland community. And it would be fair to say he has been a divisive character in his time. Yet, whether you love him or hate him, you must agree he has done a great deal of good for Queensland. Yet, my task is not to convert you to the Sir Joe fan club. I ask only that you keep to the tenet that everyone has the right to a fair go. And after years, and years of allegations that that man there is a crook. All they can come up with is this. Goldilocks could knock this over. In my submission to you, Joe Bielke Peterson is an innocent man and is entitled without question to a verdict of acquittal. If some of you agree with that, you will come by that very easy route to a verdict of not guilty. In the alternative, some of you might be persuaded that on balance, if you put the argument put forward by the Crown on one side of a beam balance and the argument put forward by us on behalf of the accused on the other side of the beam balance, there's not much in it. But it tilts slightly in favour of the Crown prosecution case. If you come to that conclusion, then yours is a verdict of not guilty. Because that is not proof beyond reasonable doubt. That is proof on balance. If at the other end of the spectrum, there are some of you who at the end of the day are of the positive opinion that the man is guilty, but with reasonable doubt, then that group of you must join in a verdict of not guilty, because that is what he is entitled to. Mm. would test Australia's justice system. He said Sir Joe must be judged on what he's supposed to have done, not who he is. Mr Greenwood admitted that... Hey, Steve, see this? Pity old Joe don't drink. They'll be breaking out the champers before too long. Well, as long as he's had a fair trial. A fair trial? Mate, they'll be bending over backwards. Why should they? Because he's Joe, the eighth wonder of the world, old rock joy, eh? the talking peanut. That doesn't come into it. Come on, mate, you're in the Young Nationals. You'd be pissed off if he was found guilty. He won't. They've got nothing on him. Spoken like a true believer. The trial had lasted 15 days and the defence had not called one witness. My only disappointment was that we hadn't seen Sir Joe perform. Thank you very much. Well, isn't this lovely? It was a relief to be out of the courtroom and into the deliberations. But now came the hard part, making a decision while the whole nation waited. Jesus, 
hot in here. Is it hot in here or is it just me? No, it's hot in here, Ken. Hey, Michael, could you turn the air conditioning on, mate? Turn it up a bit. It hasn't been turned on. I'll see what I can do. Now, you're not to speak to anybody outside this room about your deliberations. Not even me. Right. No notes, no hand signals. Is that understood? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All messages to the outside world will have to be read and censored. Other than that, uh, you're on your own. Bye, Michael. We're <laughs> trapped. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, does anyone want to take a vote? What, already? What? Yes, let's not worry about that, too. We have to. Well, it's just that it seems fairly cut and dried to a uh, lot of people I've talked well, to. Well, 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 just slow down, mate. We only just got here. You can't just walk in after the trial and take a vote. You've got to think about it. Well, it's uh, actually a traditional procedure. Oh, to take come a... on. Where'd you get that from? But we've got to go through the evidence. That's what the judge said. Well, I'm not voting. I haven't made a decision. I'm abstaining. Yeah, I'm abstaining too. Why? We don't know if he's guilty or not. We've just got in Does here. Does anyone want to take a vote on whether we take a vote? Yeah, but don't forget, if after all that evidence you can't make up your mind, then the verdict's got to be not guilty because it's not beyond reasonable doubt. Excuse me, I'm still confused about the charge. There's a copy of the indictment in your file. Just read it. Thank you. It's early days here. Such a lot here. Well, how are we oh. going to start this process? <laughs> well, we have to set an agenda. What do you mean, an agenda? Why don't we get a whiteboard? Then we can go through point by point everything that's happened and discuss it. Then things might become a bit clearer. I agree. That's a good idea. We spent the rest of the day going through the transcripts and exhibits. There was a small mountain of material. Thank God I packed enough shirts for a week. The good news is that you'll find a drinks trolley in your hotel corridor. The ration is one bottle of 4X per drinker. Oh, thank you hardly seemed enough. The bad news is that the hotel's only got eight rooms, so some of you'll have to double up. The uh, foreman gets a room to himself. How about mixed doubles? Definitely none of that. I snore. I should tell people that. We don't mind sharing. Good. Keep moving. We're We were driven to the hotel, even though it was just around the corner. The bailiff made sure no one came near us. It was like being under armed guard, like we were the ones on trial. And the whole time we knew there were people out there wondering what we were doing, what we were thinking, and when we would decide on the fate of Sir Joe. Trap those bastards. 